welcome to our python tutorial series complete python course functions in python everything you need to know about python functions in this video we will learn about the python functions with many examples so today we will be learning about the python functions and i will be covering what is python function why use functions defining a function in python calling a function function parameters and arguments return statement scope and life cycle of variables types of functions higher order functions recursive functions function annotation decorators and finally and finally conclusion about the python functions so what is a python function a function is a block of reusable code that performs a specific task once a function is defined it can be used multiple times within a program without needing to rewrite the same code so in python you can write a function and inside the function you can write a business logic later you can use the function in your program multiple times in python a function is defined using the def keyword followed by the function name and parenthesis which may include parameters functions help functions help make your code modular reusable and easier to debug so this is a example of function in python we are defining the function with def and print greeting is the name of function and uh, after that we should add the parenthesis and finally the colon print hello world is a function which prints the hello world message on the console the code inside the python the code inside the print greetings function should be indented so for indenting we are using the tabs you can also use the spaces but it is much easier to use the tab and to call the function we can simply write the function name followed by the parenthesis so let's uh, run this function in the python type jupyter notebook I will be opening the existing notebook. So here we have defined the Python function def print string. def print greetings and uh, you can see this is the this is the tab delimited indented code and to run this uh, select the cell and click run next we can write uh, also uh, i am going to use the this i am going to use a new notebook and uh, run this code here uh here i will insert a new cell and to call the function just write print print greeting and uh, run the cell and you will see the hello world message is printed if you want to write your another function just type def 
my So this is our another function and uh, to run we are going to write the function name then the parenthesis to run it either we can press control enter or select this run this cell. So it printed the hi there message. So this way you can create simple function in python. So we learned how to create a simple function in python. So why we should use the functions? So there are a lot of benefits of using the functions. Once a function is defined you can call it anywhere in your program avoiding redundancy. You can write a business logic inside the function and you can call it multiple times in your program. Modularity functions break complex problems into smaller manageable pieces. So it makes the application development much easier and modular. Maintainability changes made to a function affect all the places where the function is called making it easier to maintain and update code. Readability well named functions can make the code more readable as it is easier to understand what a function does by its name rather than deciphering lines of code. Testing isolating functions in isolating functionality in functions make it easier to test small parts of your code independently. So there are a lot of benefits of using functions in uh, python programming language. Defining a function in python. So let us understand how we can define a function in python. In python defining a function is straightforward. The syntax involves the def keyword followed by a function name parenthesis and a colon. The indented block that follows in the function body where the code resides. Syntax is def function name and parameters and the function name should include the colon. After the colon we can write the indented code and all will be part of the function. So a function have function body code to be executed and there is a return value. The return value is optional and if your function is not returning anything then this value can be optional. Defining a function example. So we already showed you the how we can define a function. It is simply the def print greeting parenthesis then colon and the print hello world inside the indented uh, area. Calling a function to execute the code inside a function you need to call it by its name followed by the parenthesis. If the function requires arguments you pass them inside the parenthesis. So this is an example of uh, calling the function. I already showed you how to write your own function and call the function. Now let us understand the function parameters and arguments. Functions can accept data through parameters. Pa parameters are variables listed inside the parenthesis in the function definition while arguments are the actual value passed when the function is called. Our functional arguments can be positional arguments, keyword arguments, default arguments, arbitrary arguments. So let us see uh, what is the difference between the functional parameters and arguments. A parameter is a variable in a method definition. When a method is called the arguments are the data you pass into the method methods parameter. So in the function called def my function param1, param2, param3. 
so param 1 param 2 param 3 are the parameters and it is the variable inside the function and the arguments are are the values passed to the function so uh, here we are actually uh, calling this function and we are passing where 1 where 2 where 3 so where 1 where 2 where 3 is called the arguments and this is these are the values which is passed to the function and uh, if we run this function 5 plus 2 7 plus 6 is equal to 13 so it is printing the 13 hope you understand about the functions function parameters and arguments so let's uh, discuss about the positional arguments positional arguments must be provided in the order in which the parameters are defined in the function so for example we have a multiply function x and y it is returning x star y so the result is multiply 35 70 so 35 will go into the x variable and 70 we will go into the y variable and it will return the multiplication of two values so it is printing the value like this uh, so this is a multiply function i can copy it for running it here so this is a multiply function and to call this uh, we are going to multiply 10 and less 18 now we can print the result so it printed the result values so i showed you how to use the positional arguments the second is the keyword arguments keyword arguments are passed in the function in the form of parameter name and value this allows you to skip or rearrange arguments as needed for example uh, we have a function called divide which is taking two parameters a and b and returning a, a divided by b uh, here we can call the divide function by changing the position of the variables so uh, here uh, in the function b is at the second position but here i am providing the b equal to 9 at the first position and a at in the second position since we are using the keyword arguments function will be able to identify the values and correctly perform the operation so let's uh, run this example so this is a divide function and i can call it by like this result is equal to divide and uh, b equal to 10 and a equal to 20 run it and uh, i will print the result a divided by 10 so 2 is divided by 10 and result is 2.0 so this way we can use the positional argument next is the default arguments you can provide default values for parameters making them optional when calling the function so this is a function def greet name equal to guest so name name equal to guest is a default value and it is printing print f hello and the name so name is the placeholder uh, which will be replaced with the value of name uh, we can call without passing the name so it is the printing the default value 
and if we pass the value here, it is going to print the value that is passed from our function. So, let us run the example. I can run the grid and it is simply printing the hello and the default value of uh, name is guest. So, it is printing the guest. Uh, if I pass some value, let us see grid and uh, John. So, if I enter it, so it is if the, I run this uh, method, it is printing hello John. So, you learned how to use the default arguments in Python. So, if we do not pass the value for default, the value which is defined as a default will be used. Now, we are going to understand the arbitrary arguments. Uh, this is of two types, star arcs and uh, double star k w args. So, star args allow you to pass variable number of positional arguments. So, we can pass so we can pass any number of uh, positional arguments through the star args arguments. In case of star star k w args, it allows you to pass a variable number of keyword arguments. So, we can pass any number of uh, keyword and the value to the uh, through this uh, arbitrary argument. So, let us see the example. So, star args example here we have a function called sum all star args and it is returning the sum of star args and uh, in this uh, example you can see it is summing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the total is 15. And uh, in another call, we are sending more values and it is also taking the uh, more values, more positional argument and printing the result. So, let us uh, try to run this example. So, uh, the function is sum all. Uh, run it by pressing control enter and uh, for simplicity I will just copy it and uh, run it in uh, one cell. So, it is printing the 15. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 arguments I am passing. Let us create another cell and pass more values, more arguments. And see, we are able to pass more positional arguments to this function. So, this way you can pass any number of argument to the function in Python. Now, we will see star star k uh, w args example. So, uh, we have a function, function called print info star star k w args and for key value in k args dot items it is printing so we have a function called print info star star k args for key value in k args dot items print f for bitting of the string string and uh, key and the value so it is printing the so it is printing all the named arguments uh, uh, Let us create the function. I can call this, I can call this function like this. Now add more arguments. 
a country so it is taking more uh, keyword arguments and printing all these keyword arguments so let's move on to the return statement the return statement is used to send the result of a function back to the caller a function without a return statement returns none by default so we have a function called square def square and it is taking x as a parameter and returning x star x and we can call this function and it is returning a value which is 16 if we pass the 14 now call the function so it is printing 16 so we learned how to return a well return a value from a function so return keyword is used to return the value in a function is scope and life cycle of variables so uh, variables can be of local variable and global variable variables so local variables variables declared inside a function are local to that function and cannot be accessed outside it global variables variables declared outside all functions are global and can be accessed inside any function provided they are not shadowed by the local variables so we are defining a global variable x equal to 10 and uh, defining a function modify where we are using the keyword global followed by the name of the variable that uh, we want to use so here we are setting x equal to 20 so this is modifying the global variable if we call print function it is printing 10 and after modifying if we call the function it is printing 20 so this way you can use the global variables in your python program uh, let's uh, see the example so we are defined x equal to 10 as a global variable and inside that modify function we are using the we are using the global keyword followed by the x which is a variable name and setting x equal to 20 if we print x without setting the value it is printing 10 after modifying it is printing the 10 so this way you can use the global variables in your python program types of functions so let's understand the type of functions in python uh, built-in functions then user defined functions lambda functions higher order functions and recursive functions so these are the types of functions in python so let's understand all these uh, one by one so built-in functions python comes with several built-in functions such as print len max minimum etc these are always available for use without the need to define them i am defining a list i am defining a list a uh, variable and the values are one two three and now calling the print which is a built-in function and len is also built-in function inside this we are passing numbers so it is printing the length of uh, numbers uh, list 
So, in the in the numbers list we have three objects. So, it is printing three. Let us run the example. Uh, so, if I increase the number of uh, argument and run it, so it is printing 4. So, this way we can use the built in function in Python. So, built in functions are available in Python without importing any library, any extra library. Now, we will see the user defined functions. User defined functions are created by the user to perform specific tasks such as shown in the previous example. So, in the, so in previous examples, we have developed many functions and all these functions are called the user defined functions. One example is multiply where we use the def keyword, then the function name and inside the parenthesis, we pass two variables and uh, the function is should be end with the colon and uh, the code inside the function should be indented and it is returning the simply the multiplication of x and y and to call this uh, user defined function you just enter the name of the function followed by parenthesis and inside the parenthesis you can pass the uh, variables so it is printing the 2450 if we pass 35 and 70 now we should learn about the lambda function it is uh, very important in Python and it is being used very frequently in the Python programming language. Lambda functions are small anonymous functions defined using the lambda keyword. They are typically used for short simple tasks that can be written in single line. Syntax is lambda then arguments and after colon the expression. So, this is a simple example lambda add equal to so function add is equal to lambda a and b it is the parameter and after colon the expression is a plus b so this function add will return will take two arguments a and b and it will return the value a plus b calling lambda function print add and we are passing 13 and 15 and total is 28 so this way you can so this way you can create and use lambda functions in uh, the python program let us run the example. Uh, this is the definition of function. It is uh, simple. Uh, lambda add is the name of the function and the lambda a b and it is returning the a plus b. Uh, let us make another function. My subtract function and which is the lambda, it is taking two variables a, b and returning the a minus b. So, this is a lambda function which is uh, defined here and the function name is my, subs, my subtract function. I am creating uh, this function just to help you understand the lambda function uh, well. So, it is taking two parameter 10 minus 10 and 5. So, it should print 5. So, this is the name of function and uh, lambda a minus a comma b colon a minus b is the function or definition. So, this way you can define your lambda function which is a one line function and very easy to develop and use. Let us see the higher order functions. A higher order function is one that takes another function as an argument or returns a function. This is common in function programming. 
So, this is the example of higher order function, we are actually defining a function def apply function which is taking the function and the value and returning in the return it is calling this uh, function and passing the value and uh, we have another function def square which is taking x as an argument and returning the x into x. Now, we can uh, apply the function like this apply function and the function name is square and passing this value 5. So, this is calling of uh, calling the square function. So, let us run the example. So, we have two function apply function which is taking a function as a parameter and calling this function with this value and this is the function which we will be passing for execution by the apply function and you can call this by this way. So, in apply function we are sending the square function and uh, apply function is actually running this square function and returning the value. This way you can use the higher order function in python. Now, let us move on to the recursive function. A recursive function is a function that calls itself during execution. Recursive functions are recursive functions are commonly used for problems that can be broken down into smaller simpler problem such as calculating the factorial of a number. So, this is a recursive function and uh, def factorial and we are recursively calling the factorial n minus 1. If it is 1 then return 1 otherwise it is going to call this function. So, let us run this uh, factorial function recursive function. This is recursive function and we are calling it recursively. So, run it and it is printing 1, 2. If I enter 50, it is going to you know return the value which is the factorial of 50 is this. So, we learned how to use the recursive function in python. So, there is a functional annotation which you should understand. Function annotations provide a way for attaching metadata to function parameters and return values. Uh, these are purely for documentation purposes and do not affect the actual behavior of function. So, def function name parameter annotation and return the the values. So, uh, let us see this by the example code. So, this is the function and uh, we can call it like this. Next we, we will see the decorators. Decorators are powerful feature in python that allows you to modify the behavior of a function or method without changing its code. They are often used for logging, access, control and other metadata and other meta programming tasks. They are often used for logging, access control and other meta programming tasks. So, this is the example of decorator, decorators in python. So, we are defining a decorator and wrapper is 
a print function then call the function and print function has been called. So, it is going to call this uh, function is about to call called and uh, we'll, we are calling the function and after calling the function we are are printing that uh, function has been called and it is returning the wrapper and we can use the at the rate decorator say hello. So, uh, before uh, so when we call the say hello function uh, print function is about to called is will be called first then the function will called and finally, the function has been called message will be printed. So, this is uh, very useful in uh, in uh, actually debugging your code or for log logging purposes. So, you can see it is print it is calling this uh, uh, method before calling the function and after it is printing this message. So, this way we can use the decorators in uh, a python. Functions are fundamental building blocks in the Python programming by encapsulating functionality into reusable units. Functions provide a way to make code more modular, maintainable, and testable. And testable. Whether you are developing web applications, processing data, training machine learning models, or automating tasks, or automating tasks, mastering Python function is essential for efficient programming. So, in this video tutorial, I explained you Python functions in very detailed with the example codes. I will provide you the link to example code in this uh, video tutorial description. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe our channel for more videos and uh, tutorials.